guys, I'm John from Your Concrete Source and I'm going to show you how to repair this concrete foundation. So the parging on the foundation has fallen off. Um, you can see here the pieces have fallen off. Here it still seems to be okay. Um, the main cause of that is most likely because when this was applied they didn't use a bonding agent. So this here is a bonding agent and you're supposed to mix it in with the cement to get the cement to bond to the foundation and uh, that's the main cause here of why this happened. What we're going to be using is some bonding agent and uh, potable water, parch mix, mixing drill, I use a DeWalt, a steel trowel, and a finishing sponge. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to show you how to repair this properly. And what I'm going to do first is just take some water and a broom, dip the broom in the water, and just throw it on there. The other thing you want to be mindful of is that the water is going to evaporate much faster on a hot summer day than today, which is about, uh, it's about seven degrees out today. Um, so the water on the wall, it's going to stay a lot longer. But I mean in the summertime, that's going to be gone in about 10, 10, 20 minutes. So step two is to add the bonding agent first before you add the parge mix. What you want to do is just take the bonding agent, kind of like a white glue, like that. You don't need a lot. But I'd recommend about one, one tenth. So we're using uh, just potable water. Cold water is better. Um, and what you want to do is just add a little bit. So you can see this is a little too wet. It's almost like water at this point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more parge mix. So you get, what you're gonna want is sort of like a cookie dough consistency, just like that. Parging mix all mixed up. Nice cookie dough consistency. Now I'm gonna do just apply a little bit to my trowel. Push it against the wall. Just trowel the wall just like this. You don't want to add a lot, but what you want to do is kind of push it against the wall. And you can see inside what I'm doing is I'm just using the front of the trowel to pick up just like that keep it upside down carry it around and just push it against the wall with a little bit of pressure I always angle this a little bit mainly for water so the rain comes down it's not going to want to go under it's going to hit and roll off just like that. What you want to do is get it flat, right? A lot of guys will do parging and it's like all ripply, right? But so you just kind of, you're just using the trowel to kind of screed it. Mm. And you don't, the thing is, people think you need a lot. You don't need a lot to do this to the last long time. You just need that sort of that procedure, okay. right? problem is when I get going at this I see all these other problems like I look around and I'm like oh, I just want to finish and then usually I'll have to use my hands and just you just kind of mold it in right so that's why you want that cookie dough right is is that you can't do that with wet material so what I've done now is I just smoothed everything out got it to a 
good consistency and then I'm going to let it set for about 10 minutes and then sponge it. What I'm going to do now is just sponge the surface and what I'm doing is just finishing it nice, flattening it out and uh, making it look good. And uh, what I do is I always keep a pail of water, just dip the trowel in, or sorry, uh, dip the sponge in the water like that. And then you just want to squeeze it, not fully, but just a little bit. Make sure there's still some water in there. Then you take the sponge and just sort of a semicircle, or like creating a she, a she, a C shape. <laughs> Make sure that you're covering everything and uh, going all the way to the bottom. Doing the corners nice. Can always take a little bit of material on the, the sponge itself and just work it across. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what uh, the finished product looks like after one day. You can see it's uh, sort of a rough uh, sand finish. And that's how you repair a foundation wall.